deal y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl kendra y'all it is gonna be 2022 oh my goodness that sounds so crazy saying that but y'all it's been a year since i dropped my last review of the jeep or not even a year but i dropped it earlier in january i'm gonna do a year-end review so we can see where we stopping at this year and then what we got to look forward to next year so if you have been rocking with this channel for this year i appreciate you if you are new to this channel make sure y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now because you're not gonna want to miss what all your girl got coming y'all we done went to car shows we didn't travel we didn't do all that stuff we didn't do some mods y'all it's only gonna get better from here so i'm gonna go ahead and pull in the jeep i got me a little spot right here in the bed mod effects and we're gonna do this walk around show y'all what i've done this year and some stuff y'all got to look forward to so y'all make sure y'all stay tapped in Alright y'all, so we done finally got the big blue thing pulled into the bay. Um, y'all already know, I shouted out Mod Effects earlier. The only folks that I let touch my Jeep, I'm out here in Houston, Texas. So if you ever see a girl, definitely stop, say what's up. Um, we gonna go ahead and get into this review. If you have been rocking with me, like I said, I appreciate it. Drop some stuff that you done saw that I done done this year that you really liked. Um, I'm still putting together my 2022 plan but y'all know i got some big things coming uh car show season is gonna kick off and i'm gonna be ready for it y'all ready to take home some trophies so let's go ahead and get into it the most obvious thing that i done done and this was actually done probably two years ago at this point so i'm just about ready to maybe switch it up probably got another video coming on that so we're not gonna spend too much time but this is a satin chrome blue that I've been rocking with get a lot of love on it blue is my favorite color a lot of people ask me that um, I went and did the gloss black pieces I actually got those from SRT Pamela she was getting rid of her Jeep and end up upgrading to a Hellcat Durango so it just gives it a more aggressive look I also have the black ops splitter which I just recently put that on a few months ago for, I think it was Wham. Um, so, and don't mind me right now. I, I, I ain't got the Jeep washed up, but wanted to get this video done. Um, so it just gives it that more aggressive look with all the pieces. These pieces was swapped out. Um, all of these, the inserts was swapped out, so. You can see it right there when you see that you know to get out the way you already know like I said the shop that do all my work mod effects we're gonna go around to the side let me go around to the other side so I used to be on Belgian wheels swap those out for these Ferratas these are CM1s they're 22 inches the graphite face with the black lip. It's a painted lip, so definitely trying to be careful on those. Um, you know, paint chips easily, so we'll probably end up getting those powder coated eventually. These Brembo's were there or came on a Jeep, so I haven't done much to them, but I do plan on getting those powder coated. I still been indecisive about what color if I want to change the color scheme up on the Jeep. So if y'all got thoughts on that, definitely drop that in the comments. But that's that side view right there. And 
And I got the Lexani wheels. I'll also um, go in depth about some of the stuff, not in this video, but I'll go, I'll make a separate video about my wheel setup and then about the tires that I'm running. Um, you can see that right now my fender is popped out. Um, so y'all just gonna have to tune in a little bit more to see why that's the case, but I am not aired out all the way right now because of that. So I'm gonna eventually have to take off the front end once I get my lights done and change out the clips. So if y'all seen one of my other videos talking about the five things I hate about the Jeep, this was definitely one of them. So anybody Jeep, uh, anybody with a Jeep can probably feel me on that one. Let me just doing this side, side view right now. You already know. Your girl make custom decals and banners, so get at me. It's that side back view. I do have the Lux tent on my tail lights and my front lights. Once I do change out or once I do get my lights done, I'm going to end up getting rid of these because I have some new ones. Um, advice is I probably wouldn't do headlight tint again um, because I've heard that it's really hard to take off and so I just went ahead and bought new ones. I ain't going to worry about it. So this is that back view. So I do have the tow hitch and I end up putting my wrap color. So the SRT in there. Um, somebody actually hit me up about uh, those decals and they are ready to go. So if you need that, let me know. Um, I got stainless works exhaust. I'll turn on the Jeep so that y'all can hear that. But not a lot of people. I don't know a lot of people that's running stainless works exhaust, but I like the way it sounds. Um, I had thought about putting course on there, but decided that I was just going to rock with this um, for now. Let's see. What else we got? What else we got? Y'all probably like, Kendra, what you, what you talking about? What else we got? You ain't showed off the bags. Y'all already know. got the stance like i said i'm i'm really not happy with my stance right now because i can't go down lower than this um but let's go ahead and do a quick inside review and i ain't gonna go all the way into the back but so we got you know stock steering wheel i ain't done nothing crazy in the interior I still got to get this car these carbon fiber pieces changed out um, for those wondering what the original color of the Jeep is there it is in the door jam it was like a like a midnight um, blue with pearl flakes so I really loved it um, so like I said blue is my color so when we found the blue and then we put blue on top of it I mean it was just winning let me pop the hood Alright, so this is under the hood. So I do have a Whipple supercharger. Getting ready to do some work to that. I'll talk about that in a minute. But if you are interested in the Whipple, you definitely gonna want to make sure that you stay tapped into this channel. Um, yeah, we got some maintenance to do there. But um I will turn on the Jeep to let y'all see how it sounds right now. It is not the wine that you are used to. It is telling your girl that, hey, it's time for some real maintenance. So, we gonna get ready to send that off pretty soon and I will do a full process of how that's being done. I got billet tech pieces. Right, 
So when SRT Pamela was selling her Jeep, she had these pieces on there and I was like, those are absolutely mine. Y'all don't be like them people on social media. Gonna call me out on my stock throttle body. Y'all wanna know why I stock? Because the thing fell off. So yeah, now it's all scraped up. I gotta get that repowder coated and if i gotta get one piece repowder coated guess what you gotta send the whole set off so now i am debating on if i should even just if i should just change the whole color so that's why i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna do with these brimbos because whatever color i change the brimbos to i might just go ahead and put that underneath the hood and get it over with um but yeah i was real disappointed pulled up to a car show thought i was finna flex open up my hood and bam it's just sitting there sitting there all scraped up then i got that too what else i got what else i got i will show y'all my tank set up so I like to ride clean in the Jeep and sometimes I'll be forgetting that when I'm aired out this hitch is so low so I gotta make sure I duck down um, I do have these floor mats in here which have been great I am a person that hauls a lot in the Jeep so yeah we gonna move this real quick All right, and the reason why you get that, keep it looking nice and clean. All right, so this is my tank setup right now. So nothing, nothing spectacular going on down there. Um, I will end up doing a video. So right now I'm running two tanks. Um, so when people ask me, like when I pull up to meets, like, dang, why does it sound so loud? It's because I got two tanks in the back, um, which is nice. It also has extra functionality, which I have not used to date, but I will, and I will drop a video on what those tanks can do and the usefulness of them, uh, because they're not just good for airing out my car, but they're good for maybe airing up somebody else's. So. I was gonna have to stay tuned so I'm gonna go ahead and put my map back in the Jeep and then we gonna have a little chit chat for a minute on I always get questions and you know people DM me people drop stuff in my comment section on YouTube just asking about the Jeep I'm gonna try to answer some of my most common questions I'm gonna let y'all know about the supercharger and some things that you probably want to look out for and what videos y'all got to look forward to uh supercharger is definitely coming first everybody always asks me about my maintenance but i'm getting ahead of myself let me go ahead and put this up and then we gonna talk a little bit more All right, y'all, so I told y'all I would cut on the Jeep so that y'all could hear how the supercharger sounds, y'all. I'm telling you, my baby is sick. And I ain't talking about sick in a good way. I'm talking about sick in a bad way. 
you could hear that grinding noise that it was making y'all a supercharger is not supposed to sound like that um it's even worse in the inside i don't know if people really recognize it when i'm pulling up somewhere like why it sound like that but y'all supercharger ain't supposed to sound like that when i first heard the noise i pulled up on them skirt skirt hey some some messed up y'all so I messed up we gotta look at it we gotta figure it out me and him i saw man i think it's been like two three hours um messing around with this supercharger we changed all the external bearings had a stethoscope i'm gonna drop some footage y'all we was out there looking crazy like some some mad scientist folks trying to figure out what was going on with this that didn't work ended up sending it over to power fab got a diagnostic they are a authorized whipple dealer here in houston so sent it over there it was in good hands they confirmed what we suspected internal bearings i hate coming out to car meets now because it is a, the most obnoxious noise um so if you have a supercharger or are thinking about getting a supercharger you really gonna want to stay tapped into this channel because i'm getting ready to send this whole thing off this whole thing off so that it can get the internal bearings rebuilt so that's gonna be a whole process in itself and for those that have a supercharger i'm just curious who did y'all send y'all's block off to to be rebuilt and then also there is other maintenance on the supercharger so you see that site right there i do have other videos on how to do an oil change on it um you know probably will be doing one soon enough but there is one that you can reference back to quick five minute video but yeah this is my jeep year in review like i said 2022 we coming with it I got so much I want to do. So much. And this is how you verify which pulley is bad on a vehicle. I'm telling y'all, it's the reason why I come to Mike the Mechanic because I ain't never seen nobody pull out no stethoscope to put it on the Jeep and figure out what's going on. But clearly there is um, a bad bearing that's gonna have to be changed out. I think we already got the part here. So um, make sure you order that in advance or with your car, whatever you got. Whatever you got to whip on to help you figure out what's going on.